Hello guys, today I'm going to be covering a few tips that will help you build a stronger and more efficient alliance. This topic is quite vague, and the advice I will be sharing with you might not work in every kingdom, but they are, in my opinion, a good base for a solid and long-term alliance. They cover various aspects of the alliance, so you don't have to follow all of them, and they are always based on a mid to long-term strategy. Of course, there are more points to add, but I feel these are the ones that are most important. With that said, let's get started. Let's start with a simple point. What is the best way to physically design your alliance? The Hive has a major importance in your game and will definitely help you progress faster. Here is a representation of what I believe is an ideal Hive. As you'll quickly notice, all the cities and buildings are placed like a grid. This is to avoid any wasted space. The next point is the location of where I place my alliance buildings. At the very center, I place the Underworld Gate. This is because fighting the Underworld Beast is something that an active alliance will do quite often, and during these battles, the timer is what matters most. Two rows around it, I'll place the rest of my alliance building, such as the Alliance Fortress. The fortress is super important to defend, and if demolished, all alliance buildings will fall, so it's important to have it close to the center of the hive. Other buildings, which the position is not much of importance, I still prefer them in the center. It just looks better. Let's focus on the city places now. In my opinion, the strongest players should be around the Underworld Gate, for a few reasons. 1. They have the highest rally capacity against the Underworld Beasts. 2. They are closer to the fortress and can defend it easier. Three. They are of equal distance to other allies, which makes it easier to defend if your hide comes under attack and you can send reinforcements. 4. They are also the hardest to reach. After that, it's pretty much up to you how to place the cities and alliance towers. But I really insist on the grid aspect, as it's the best defense method and will prevent anyone from teleporting inside your hive. Make sure to place an encampment if you or an ally teleports outside your hive to guard their place. Let's move on to the next point to see how to organize Alliance events. Alliance events are a really important feature for me. Overall, they allow you to practice coordination with your allies for future attacks and help build strategies. Let me share with you my main tips for this. For the Underworld Gate, here are the main points. Each time you wish to activate this event, make sure to send a mail to your whole alliance beforehand informing of the start time. To avoid confusing situation, I recommend that you use a time from the game, which is in UTC, also while trying to schedule it around the same time. Only castles around the gate should open the rally for a quicker march time. Try to limit the donations of the underworld key per ally so that everyone has a chance to donate and benefit from its rewards. Then, red guard raids. Also send a mail before to remind your alliance mates about the start time so that they can have their troops inside their castle before starting the event. Keep in mind that waves 10 and 20, you should have your strongest alliance members reinforce the alliance fortress first. Let's move on to the third point, which is having strong players. Having strong allies is really important to defend your hive and alliance, but it's definitely not something easy. A good way to quickly grow is to push players one by one. By pushing, I mean helping one designated ally by sending him resources so he can upgrade faster and protect the others. There are two ways to share resources with an ally. Through the trading post or by letting him attack you. If you choose a ladder, make sure to take troops out otherwise it could be a painful recovery. I really want to emphasize that only one player should be chosen at once for this. It will be much more efficient. Donations can also be done to the Alliance directly, and we will talk about this in a bit. I hope what I covered today was somewhat useful to you. 
There are of course a lot more tips regarding alliance management, but I believe these are the core ones that you should consider. If you wish to get more tips for any topics, be it PvP, rally, airships, event, leave a note in the comment section below. Thank you guys for watching and I hope to see you in game soon.